Simply put, our field is, uh, has the goal to engineer spare parts for the human body. If you think about organ donation, uh, organ donation implies organ donors, and what we're trying to do is to grow replacement parts without having to have people donate them. So please join me in welcoming Nina Tandon. Science is really important for everyone, including people who aren't going to be scientists, especially for people who aren't going to be scientists, because our whole lives are based in technology. We pick up our phones, right? There's technology all around us. These girls are, do you know what they're doing? <laughs> they're playing with strawberries. They're actually taking strawberries, the DNA out of strawberries. Um, has, anyone, has anyone ever done that? Pardon? Banana, bananas are really good. There's lots of DNA in bananas and in strawberries. Other fruits, not so much. Let me actually show you a picture. This is banana. <laughs> That's the DNA. And I think this is strawberry and then we used a bunch of other fruits and we didn't get as much out of them. But some of you said computer programming, computer engineering are your favorite subjects, right? Now in our bodies, we have tons and tons of computer code, but it's all in our DNA. You guys have probably heard about embryonic stem cells and there are some controversies around that. Um, but one new source of stem cells is um, it's just discovered in 2007. In fact, the Nobel Prize was given last year. Do you guys know who? Yamanaka, he's Japanese. Um, they, di they discovered how to take skin cells and reprogram them into embryonic cells. Isn't that amazing? It's like cellular amnesia, tricking our cells into thinking that they're embryonic cells again. What's really interesting about that is that you can get those cells to grow any type of tissue. Another piece of work that I'm working on now, do you guys know Roger Ebert? He's a famous um, movie critic. And he had cancer um, for the past six years and he unfortunately passed away this year. But as part of his cancer, he lost his jawbone and, um, and there was nothing that the doctors could put in to, to help him regenerate it. They, what they do now is they cut out pieces of the body and put it, you know, we cut out a piece of his hip, cut out a piece of his shoulder to try and reconstruct his jaw. And this is so, this is almost like carpentry for the human body. Um, what we're proposing to do, and we're starting a company now to do this, is we're growing bones from stem cells in your body. So we're growing bones. So I just invite you guys to think, you know, what is it that makes you curious? What is it that makes you want to peek out the blinds of your consciousness, right? What is that? What are those things? I'm learning about the heart and the stem cells and the, pri the strides that they're making is very inspiring to uh, science students who might want to pursue that in their future careers. It's reassuring to know that you don't have to know what you want to do right away because the path can change sometimes too. Uh, my experience coming up to the Lakelands here in northern Alberta has been really fun. It's so sunny and the people are so warm and it's been a real delight to get to see the area.